The positive was on the west coast, you didn't see as much storm damage as what you would, as what we thought. Um, the negative is if you're in the Keys, you saw, you've seen the pictures, uh, the trailer parks, I mean, it's like everybody just tipped everything over. Um, the, you're just, you're just praying that everybody's alive. We've been sending the Department of Transportation down the Keys to inspect all the bridges because even though you can see that people are traveling, you're not sure that on the bridges they can take any significant weight. And so our Department of Transportation is working on that. So today I had the opportunity with uh, the mayor to tour the flood damage here. And it, there's so many areas that you would never have thought would have flooded, have flooded. You know, as, as far as I can tell, I mean, we were shocked yesterday when, when the, the flooding started happening here. So what I immediately did was, I know uh, the mayor was focused on this and the sheriff was focused on this, but I sent uh, fish and wildlife officers, I sent over 60 officers right here as fast as we could to help with rescue. This president and this administration is absolutely focused, like I am, on uh, one, the safety of everybody, but on top of that, getting people back uh, to a normal life as fast as possible. So we got a lot of work to do. This time, uh, we woke up yesterday to Category 3 hurricane storm surge and tropical storm. Uh, the governor provided assets. We secured assets with his help and uh, the federal government as well and our local first responders and those rescues happen. So now the recovery and the rebuilding begins. It's about individual lives. You know, we're, we're, not, we're not trying to be difficult. We're not trying to make, be in, make people's lives inconvenient. And I think the governor was saying it best leading up to this. Evacuations are not about convenience. Uh, they're about safety. And so we just want people to be safe.